Hello everyone and welcome back to Dawn of Man. It's going to be a little bit of a shorter episode today unfortunately, probably only about 30 minutes as I actually have dinner in the oven and I'm going to have to go get that and get dinner going here shortly. So I just wanted to jump in, do a few things, see if we can't recover a bit from yesterday's complete and utter debacle, losing five of our adults. Things I learned from that, slow down. Don't need to play the game at max speed especially when hunting speed four is a good speed we can leave it there and we can be happy so uh, what are we going to do let's go ahead and slow on down a little bit more for the moment she's going to attempt okay i do want to do a little hunting here though these are all okay we are going to take it easy, and we're going to put it up on speed four and go hunt some uh, ibex over here. Let's get down and let's get down in personal and watch this. I don't do enough stuff in like the good camera modes. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was our first ibex kill. Nice. Here, elephants. I see elephants. As long as he doesn't run too awful far away. There we go. Okay. Nice. Got a couple of quick kills. Get some more uh, meat and skins for the coming winter. Well, to get us through the summer. And we're still working towards our 15 knowledge points, which we have a three. So. Uh, what can we work on, though, to get up to that? Uh, another Auroch would actually get us a point. We're good on Mammoths. Four cave. Uh, another Wolf would get us a point. Four more Reindeer. Five Megaloceroses. Four Ancient Bison. I have not seen Woolly Rhinos in a very long time. You know that? Where is one? There's one way back there. I don't want to go for a Woolly Rhino or a Mammoth any time. Or big mammoths. I could go for an old mammoth or an old woolly rhino, but a young one with as low as our population is at the moment. I'm a little uh, I'm a little nervous about that. Well, there goes some of our bread going bad. Unfortunate. Here comes the trader though. Trader is always good to have around. Alright, got some goodies. Got some more goodies. Uh, let's see. I believe we have built, what, two totems and two skull poles? Yeah. Alright, there's our trader. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and actually. Gr okay, it's only an average commission. Let's grab that meat and that leather just to kind of supplement our stocks. And we will give you. Uh, some of this stuff right here. Uh, where's... Oh, we only have seven bones. Hmm, it's not good. I'm going to sell that bread off to them before it goes bad, because it's going to go bad here pretty soon. Don't want to sell off the flint. I can sell off the logs. Yeah. Huh. Uh, trading off, especially like in the early game, when you don't have a whole lot of... Uh, when, like, especially when, like bread or something... Uh, if a developer ever watches this video, probably not, but if he ever watches this, something would be cool is if the system was smart enough that if you sell food, it sells the food that was going to expire first, if that makes sense. So like that bread, if I was to sell five bread, it would pick the five bread with the lowest uh, life left on it, shelf life left on it. That would be really neat. Um and you have a good way of selling food without thinking you're going to get rid of all your stock. It may do that already. I don't know. Um, it's something I'm going to ask on the uh, on the Steam for Steam discussion forum. The the developer is pretty active on there, so I may ask that question. I also think I should spam on there, not spam. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Post on there that hey, I have a YouTube channel and I'm doing Dawn of Man. Look at my stuff. 
be that guy. Uh, okay, what are we going to do now? Oh, there's another... Oh, and he's hurt! Okay, he's hurt. That's, uh... That is a come and get me moment. Oh, is he going to cross the river, though? Is he just going to get a drink? He's just going to get a drink. He is pretty far away, but we're still in the summer. And I, uh... Oh, quit, quit, quit going away. Quit running away, sir. Come back. Come back. No, stop. You're going too far away. Yeah, he's going... He's all the way over there. And the problem is, is I see a bunch of uh, cave lions over there. Oh, oh, well, this will be fine. Let's tell them to hang around. Okay, yeah, apparently you need to... So they will eat raw meat off the ground. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you're good. Uh, and you're good. Yeah, they will eat raw meat. They don't like it, but they will do it. Okay, then all the other people... Can go and get, uh, start getting that, gathering up all that stuff. See, this this is where I think there's a problem with the game, and because there's all that stuff on the ground that needs to be gathered, these kids aren't going over there to get any of it. It's well, maybe it's not instant because they are just kind of wandering around. I don't know. Maybe there's a delay or something. No, because now they're all idle again, when there is stuff to be gotten. I don't know. Well, I hope we don't lose all that meat and stuff back there. Where was it all? Way over there. Some of these people went and got stuff. There's another kid. Oh, now there's all the uh, mammoths that have come up closer. That's fine. What's wrong with you? You're thirsty? We'll get you a drink, and then I guess we'll get you some food. Just get that raw skin and the... Uh, Dryer before it goes bad, please. Whatever. Still doing some crafting. Got a new human born. Oh, it looks. I missed it. I missed. We got a bunch of people. We have a. Wow, this one dude right here is like baller. <laughs> he is getting all the kids going. Well, now we're up to 18 people. That's good. It's getting some more people in the game here. There's still a whole lot of food sitting over there, people, and no one's. I don't know what. Any, oh, it's fall, so everybody's going and harvesting, and they're getting sticks. Stuff on the ground is not important, I suppose, to them. These kids should be going to get more, though. It's kind of aggravating that they're not. Long distance hunting trips when you have a low population is kind of aggravating. Especially with not enough adults. They're all still trying to do too much. Even though I think our workload is uh, fairly light. Where is... Tasks. Yeah, well, workload is 89%. There is quite a bit to do still. I got, got a knowledge point finally. So slow. I think this is the slowest I've ever gotten knowledge points. I've also had a whole lot more people by this point, but I've kind of screwed that point, that portion of the game up. What, what's your problem? I want to speed it on up to eight for the moment. But I also think we're going to have to uh, tell them to go hunt. Okay. I really am nervous about doing that again, because we had this, such a debacle last time. We have no picks. Well, why don't we have any picks? Go make some flint picks then. There's the picks. I'm really nervous about attacking three mammoths if they would separate out i would feel more comfortable doing it but they're not they're all together okay they just separated it's 
get everybody together here. We're going to go for that old one. We've got a bunch of people. Okay, let's slow down a little bit so we don't have the same issue. We might lose one or two, but that is a whole lot of goodies. Okay, slow down. Go for this mammoth. Where's the other one at? He's way back there. Okay. All right, we didn't lose anybody, and we got two mammoths. Now, that's close enough that people should go and get all that. We're past fall. We're going into winter. There's not going to be a whole lot to do. I think we'll be okay. There's another knowledge point. Got a little bread going. Lots of good raw skins, some dry skins, some leather. Although, so we don't lose those skins. Let's uh, bump this up to 30. We're still only going to keep uh, 20 leather at the moment. Uh, or, you know what? I need to change a few things up here. We never did this. Let's put this on transport so we can see how many sledges we have. And I want to put this on grouped resources just so it's uh, a little grouped a little bit better. Okay, yeah, let's make some sledges. After they go get all this stuff. Let me rephrase that. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Tiger came up a little, a little close for us here. I didn't appreciate that. Okay, so we have all that over there. People, go, go get things. Go get, go get things. Let's bump this down to two people on sticks. Maybe that'll spur people on to go get more stuff. Oh, yeah. He took a sledge. Didn't get one thing, but he got a lot of stuff, though. I heard a dog die. I hate to do this, but, you know, could use that meat. So, I'm going to butcher him. Get some meat off of him. Oh, we have an infection. And our trader is here. Alright. What you got for us? Spy faces, meats... I'm going to grab that leather off of him. We're going to sell him quite a few things here. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> I want that leather because we're about to make some more sledges. Uh, check our population. Eh, wait, wait, we don't need to. We've only got 10 people. Although, how are our sledges doing? Yeah, probably wouldn't hurt to have a few more. Ooh, there's another mammoth. All that meat's gonna go bad. Come on, people. Now, if he doesn't pick up... Okay, he picked up some. Okay, and pick that up. There. Speed up now. Now, we've got plenty of meat, plenty of skins going. I think we could actually do with having some more... Uh, maybe two more skin dryers. Uh, let's go for one right there. Let's go for another one. Right there. That'll do. Just a couple more skin dryers. Just so we don't lose any of these raw skins that we have sitting around. Let's check our storage. How's our storage holding up? We're good there. And we're good on there. Okay. I'm happy with that. Oh, three new people. And three more knowledge points. Oh, sweet. I am happy about that. Everybody get your stuff. Oh. We might actually finally get into the Neolithic era this episode, people. We might just get there. We got 21 people now. Um, let's go ahead while we've got the stuff. And let's go ahead and get two more tents set up. do it that way. 
get two more tents that'll get us another knowledge point and uh, we'll grab another hearth and we'll grab a mortar up here so let's grab a mortar uh, say right there and we got some more flint knives that gave us another point and another hearth for what the next little spot we'll build in I want to go across the river maybe maybe uh put a small one up here or something possibly now yeah, let's just put it right there for the time for right now put a little fire next to the to that it's going to give us several knowledge points with all of this so there's another mortar there's another point for that Let's get this in. Now we got pot cat for uh, population capacity for 30 people. That's nice. There's our three horrors. That's a point. I really don't want to shove another mortar in because we don't. I mean, it's another point, yes, and I could just destroy it. So, you know what? Hey, why not? Never mind. We'll just uh, toss in another mortar, say. Uh, get one right there let's just get one in right there for the time being I I'll move that later I don't really like that location for it but it's it's fine for the moment actually no I take it back it's not fine we'll put it up here near near this there I'll build some houses or something or some huts rather up there so that'll work we'll do a mortar right there that'll get us 13 points two more two more points Okay, what can we go hunt? Let's go find an Auroch. Is there any Aurochs around? There's usually at least one Auroch. Oh, there's that, though. They, they killed him for us. Uh, cave lions? How many more cave lions do we need? Three? Well, there's one right there. Oh, it's gone. Dang it. I should have been paying attention. Oh, well. Uh, Auroch, Auroch, Auroch. That's a cave bear. How many more cave bears do we need? Yeah, we're at the cave bears. Good there. Should have been paying attention. But they killed that, uh... That mammoth. There's that woolly rhino back there. That wouldn't be bad. It's not going to get us a point quickly, though, that we could use. So we'd still have to find, uh, three more. Well, we'll get a point here once winter's over, and then we'll see if we have any Aurochs that have moved into the area. And I'm sure we'll get something from crafting, so that'll be good. And we'll get ourselves finally into the Neolithic era. Another human was born, survived the winter, good deal. Come on, let's get that cereal domestication unlocked. That I'm probably not going to use. I'll probably do like one small field. I'm not going to do like lots of big fields everywhere. I'm just going to put in a few. More like a, a supplement type thing. Okay. It is spring. Oh, we got all kinds of goodies. There's an Auroch over there, actually. Let's, uh, let's go get him. Come here, guys. Actually, there's several things we can go get. We can go get cave lions. Let's just speed this up real quick so they'll get over there. Let's get you first. Oh, dang it. Got my cave got my cave lion I wanted. Okay, never mind. Just come on back. Got to focus, 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 focus. Where, where those Aurochs go? There's one. Somebody with a sledge can come and take care of that. Uh, come and deal with that. There it is. All right, finally, ladies and gentlemen, it took several episodes and it took a lot of struggle, but we are in the Neolithic era. We're not going to plant anything. Eh, you know what? 
I, I take that back. We will plant a little bit. Let's go ahead and uh, we're just going to plant a couple of fields. Uh, we're going to plant them. Uh, let's just get right here. We're just going to plant some a couple of small fields. We don't need much at the moment. That and some uh, barley, I think, would be good. Something to get us started. And we also are going to need a haystack. I don't know why, but I really love the looks of these haystacks right here. Speed that up. We've got a few fields. You don't need a lot of big fields. Uh, bread go bread goes bad really fast. And if you have a lot of grain, there are people are going to be sitting there trying to make bread, and it's going to go bad. You're going to use it too quick. <laughs> grain lasts longer than bread, so it's actually better just to only have a few fields in the beginning. Because you're going to have meats and fish and everything else to help supplement, so... Just a couple of fields to get us started. Our first seven points in this are going to go into... Uh, where do we want to go first? Probably megalithism, and we're going to we're gonna start pounding out those, mon those megaliths and get those built. That is definitely going to be required. Um, I'm actually... Do I have time? I have time. I'm going to take those two out, and I'm going to plant some einkorn instead. Just for some variety, in case something gets uh, diseased. There we go. Alright, good deal. Yeah, I think that what we're going to do for knowledge points... We're going to grab megalithism first and go ahead and get started on building our megaliths. Then we're going to jump up and get into... Uh, fortifications and get some watchtowers going to help uh, protect our town because raiders will start coming in and then we'll hit thatching and start kind of upgrading our uh, our stuff here so this is good this is this is turning out just the way i wanted it to so far it took a little while to get there it had some bumps and bruises on the way but we did make it Just, I was just looking at something real quick. I was curious about. Okay. Well, our little uh, village here has come along quite nicely since the last time, since we first started. We expanded out a little bit. We've got some farms going finally. It's going to look nice come summer, and it's all growing in. Everybody's speeding about their business. Okay, we have some cave bears moving in to the area. Uh, our mammoths, it looks like, have moved on. Although there's a bunch of auroch coming in. There's a megaloceros back there. Before we end the episode, let's go uh, hunt some cave bears. Get everybody up on this job. We're going to hunt some cave bears. And hunt some auroch back there. Come here, cave bears. No, you're not supposed to do that. It's not how you attack a cave bear. And we'll grab these auroch. Alright. Good deal. We have plenty of stuff for our people to go and gather now. Oh, look, there's all the ancient bison. Well, I wish I'd seen that coming through. Oh, 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 cave lions. Nope, nope, nope. All right. Like I said, I hate to cut this episode short. Uh, it's only, you know, it's about 25 minutes right now, but uh, I've got dinner going. i got to go get dinner out of the oven and finish fixing dinner tonight, or I am going to be very hungry. But I've got us set up, and I've got us ready to go for the next episode, moving into the Neolithic era, moving into getting those megaliths going. And we've got... This is a great map for that. Oh, shoot. There's a raider attack. Okay, hold on. Now we got to deal with the raiders. Everybody, uh, where are they coming from? That's a lot of them. That's six of them. Everybody run back home. We'll have to deal with... We're probably going to lose all of our quarry that we just hunted. 
All right, let's get everybody back over here now. All right, let's deal with these raiders so we can go get our stuff from home. Kill any of my people. Dang it. Nope, oh, dog got killed. Oh, Thurka was killed. But we survived. Alright, quit cheering. Go get sledges. Go get stuff. We need we need all of this to be harvested before it goes bad. Why are y'all crafting? Don't craft. Get over there and do that. No, that's not that's not needed right now. This is needed. Well, we may lose that all that stuff out there, but that's okay. We've got uh, a whole herd of ancient bison nearby that we can go and get. We only lost one person with that attack. Good deal. Well, we survived our first raider attack, guys. Awesome. Many more to come, I'm sure. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and cut the episode right here. And I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.